good morning students today i came with a new topic the structure of human heart the human heart is mainly four chambered two atrias and two ventricles are present the heart is locating into the uh, mediastinum it is the thoracic region in this thoracic region slightly left side the heart is present the heart uh, it contains uh, four chambers generally the embryonic during embryonic layers the embryonic layers are called as a ectodermal layer and second layer is called as a mesodermal layer and third layer is called as a endodermal layer during embryonic mesodermal layer it is further forming as a heart so likewise two atrias and two ventricles are forming so it is called as a right atria and left atria it is the right ventricle and left ventricle is present likewise four chambered of heart is present in human being the human heart is covered different types of layers the layers is called as a pericardial layers see here if you see in this pericardial layer the pericardium is again dividing into the two parts for example in this pericardium layer the outermost layer is called as a what is that fibrous pericardium layer it is the fibrous pericardium and innermost layer is called as a serous pericardium layer it is called as a serous pericardium layer if you take only serous pericardium layer this is the serous pericardium layer in this serous pericardium layer outermost covering layer is called as a it is the parietal layer parietal layer and innermost layer is present here in this innermost layer it is called as a visceral layer so likewise serous layer again dividing into the two layers parietal layer and visceral layer so in this inner side of the tissues what is that the heart is present here in this heart it contains the fluid the fluid fill, fluid filled like substances that is called as a pericardial fluid it is called as a pericardial fluid the pericardial fluid what is the function of the pericardial fluid it's maintaining a frictions so it's maintaining a frictions it it, it helps to protecting of that uh, our heart so likewise uh, <coughs> the heart is present at the central region uh, of the what is that uh, mediastinum part or thoracic region so it is present uh, between two lungs uh, slightly left to side uh, in human heart is present so likewise the heart is present now this is the what is that uh, heart heart uh, it is the right atria right atria it is the right ventricle it is the left atria and it is the left ventricle so four chamber four chambers of heart is present so two atrias are divided into the what is that uh, yeah, yeah, auricular appendix the auricular appendix and one atria one ventricle where it is dividing part it is called as a atrioventricular aperture or atrioventricular node okay or it is also known as a coronary sulcus so likewise one atria and one ventricle is dividing and one atria and one uh, right atria and left atria is dividing auricular groove or auricular appendix and one atria and one ventricle is dividing with the help of uh, atrioventricular node or atrioventricular groove where it is dividing into the two ventricles the part is called as a ventricular groove so likewise four chambered of heart is present in human being okay and or it is also known as interventricular groove it is called as a interatrial groove and atrioventricular groove likewise the heart is present here uh, if you come to the point uh, atrias so atrias are present uh, two atrias are present it is the right atria and left atria so in this atrias uh, it contains what is that uh, uh, in during embryonic stage the embryonic stage it, it contains uh, what is that uh, foramen uh, ovale foramen ovale is present where embryo is uh, in initial stage the foramen ovale is present the foramen ovale <coughs> it is developing somewhat uh, continuously if lungs become functional at that time the foramen ovale is converting into the fossa ovalis the foramen ovale converting into the 
fassa ovalis. So when foramen ovale is converting into the fassa ovalis, somewhat if pore is present continuously, when lungs become functional, if it is partially continuous pore is present, that is called as a patent foramen ovalis. So patent foramen ovalis is present here into that uh, what is that uh, atria, right atria. So right atria it contains uh, from various parts of the body the blood is pumping here uh, into that uh, uh, atrias. Generally two precaval veins and one post caval vein okay, with the help of two precavals and one post caval vein the blood is uh, receiving into the uh, right atria. So right atria it contains a deoxygenated blood okay, deoxygenated blood two precaval veins and one post caval veins. So here uh, precaval veins are receiving uh, the blood from uh, head region and forelimbs region or neck region the blood is coming into the right atria. And post caval vein is present uh, or it is called as a inferior vena cava from posterior part of the body for example if you take legs okay uh, or the posterior part of the body the blood is pumping into the right atria. So likewise precaval veins are superior vena cava and postcaval veins inferior vena cava so they are uh, uh, pumping the blood into the uh, right atria it contains uh, deoxygenated blood okay and where opening of the uh, uh, right atria is guarded by the valve of Thebaceous, Thebaceous valve is present here. So likewise the atrias are present uh, in, uh, in human being okay. So inferior vena cava it contains uh, what is that where it is guarded by the uh, eustachian valve it is called as a eustachian valve. So likewise Thebaceous valve and eustachian valves are present into the atria right atrias okay. So this is the <coughs> atria and uh, here it contains uh, what is that where uh, right atria is uh, uh, pumping into the blood uh, right ventricle it contains the valves that is called as a semilunar valves tricuspid valves are present and left atria from left ventricle the blood is pumping into the uh, two cuspid valves that is called as a bicuspid valves it is the bicuspid valves or it is also known as a mitral valves mitral valves here it is called as a tricuspid valves. So likewise uh, tricuspid valves and bicuspid valves are present. Tricuspid valve is present to the right side, left side it, can, uh, it, uh, it is present uh, um, bicuspid valves. Okay. So likewise uh, the atrias uh, are present uh, and uh, next uh, coming to the point ventricles. <coughs> ventricles are present, it is a blood pumping chambers uh, the ventricles. The ventricles are somewhat thicker compared to the what is that uh, atrias. The blood is uh, pumping from right atria with the help of tricuspid valves in, into that uh, ventricles uh, uh, right side. From left side the blood is pumping into the mitral valve through the mitral valve the blood is pumping into the le left side of that uh, ventricles. So in this ventricles uh, it was somewhat thicker, uh, thicker and it is a uh, muscular ridges like structures are forming these muscular uh, muscular ridges like if you coming to this diagram the muscular ridges uh, uh, are forming here the muscular ridges is called as a what is that columnae carnes <coughs> it is the columnae carne and these muscular ridges uh, bulging pulses are conical shape structures are forming this conical shape structures uh, is called as a papillary muscles here cord like tend cord like uh, uh, muscles are forming these cord like muscles is called as a what is that uh, here uh, the uh, collagenous muscles are forming so likewise uh, collagenous muscles is uh, forming and papillary muscles uh, conical shape structures are forming and columnae carne is uh, forming and here it is called as a bicuspid valve from left atria through the left ventricle the blood is pumping with the help of bicuspid valves okay so uh, the likewise the uh, ventricles are forming it is the left ventricle okay it is called as a corda tendane cord like muscles are forming it is called as a corda tendane so uh, likewise the heart is present uh, uh, it is the uh, what is that uh, ventricle if you come to the point uh, 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 here it is the uh, atria, it is the right atria, it is the uh, left atria and uh, this is the right ventricle, it is the left ventricle. 
the right atria is somewhat uh, occupying more area compared to the uh, left atria and left uh, right ventricle is somewhat uh, less area occupying and right ventricle uh, left ventricle is occupying more area and somewhat thicker here uh, muscular ridges are forming that's why it is somewhat thicker so likewise the blood is uh, now reaching into the ventricles from atria through uh, by uh, tricuspid valves and bicuspid valves the blood is reaching here now the blood is not uh, uh, coming back side why because it contains a tricuspid valves and uh, bicuspid valves are uh, present here okay and uh, next one nodal tissues are forming a specialized uh, nodal tissues are forming the specialized nodal tissues uh, is called what here and uh, the sn nodes are forming sn nodes if you see here sinoatrial nodes are forming sn node here it is called as sn node sn node is called as a pacemaker it is producing the sound lob dub lob dub like sound is producing with the help of sn node so it is also known as a pacemaker uh, the sn node um, sinoatrial node is present into the right side of that uh, atrium okay and uh, here uh, uh, two atria are dividing in this part uh, uh, auricular groove or uh, auricular appendix okay sn is generating uh, uh, rhythmic contractions and rhythmic relaxations uh, Uh, so that's why it producing the sound lub dub like uh, sound is producing so atrial systolic pressure and uh, ventricular systolic pressure and cardiac diastolic pressure these all uh, pressures are going with the help of uh, the what is that atria and uh, ventricles okay so it is competing within 0.1 seconds 0.3 seconds 0.4 seconds likewise cardiac diastole uh, diastoles are uh, formed here where san node to pacemaker it is called as a san node to now avn node is form here it is called as a avn node avn means atrioventricular node is forming now the blood is pumping here from tricuspid valves into that where right ventricle so from san node to avn node is forming and now the blood is fulfilling into that ventricles so likewise the Uh, ventricles uh, the blood is fulfilling it contains a valves that is called as a pulmonary arch and systemic arches are formed here so likewise from precaval to precaval veins and one postcaval veins with the help of this uh, precaval and postcaval veins the blood is pumping into the atria through the atria the blood is now reaching into the ventricles now last uh, uh, point uh, that is called as a uh, <coughs> aortic arches a specialized aortic arches are forming the aortic arches are mainly two types that is called as a pulmonary arch and systemic arch okay the pulmonary arch if you see here the pulmonary arch is forming this is called as a pulmonary arch okay <coughs> the pulmonary arch it is slightly uh, what is that somewhat uh, uh, right side the from back side of the right atrium it is now um, um, Uh, losing the arch that is called as a pulmonary arch and uh, another arch is forming uh, uh, what is that uh, that is the uh, systemic arch is forming is the systemic arch it is the uh, it is originating from right side okay now see here generally pulmonary blood uh, arteries it carries uh, oxygenated blood veins it carries uh, deoxygenated blood pulmonary arteries it carries uh, deoxygenated blood uh, pulmonary veins it carries oxygenated blood you have to remember these points here so before going to this pulmonary arch and systemic arch okay now pulmonary arch and systemic arch systemic arch carries uh, what is that oxygenated blood pulmonary arch it carries uh, uh, deoxygenated blood so see in this diagram this is the precaval vein Uh, precaval vein it carries uh, deoxygenated blood into the right atrium this is the uh, it is the right atrium and uh, now this is the uh, right pulmonary artery pulmonary artery it carries uh, which oxygen uh, which uh, blood uh, the pulmonary artery it carries uh, deoxygenated blood now this is the what is that pulmonary arch pulmonary arch and uh, next one it is the right pulmonary veins pulmonary veins is it carries uh, oxygenated blood and it is called as a right atrium this is the blood it, it is the right atrium and uh, next one it is the right coronary arteries 
the coronary arteries are forming uh, from anterior part of the artery, atrium through the uh, posterior part of the two ventricles. So, so, it is extended from anterior half of the part to the all ventricles uh, that is called as a uh, what is that uh, coronary arteries are forming. So, these all are the uh, coronary arteries, these all are the coronary arteries are forming, it extends to uh, or covered to that uh, ventricles now. So, this is the uh, right ventricle, it, this part is called as a right ventricle and last one it is called as a post vein, ok. See here in this uh, diagram, it is the systemic arch, it carries oxygenated blood where pulmonary arch and systemic arch both are dividing or both are connecting. This part is called what here? This is called as a ligamentum arteriosum or it is the remnant of ductus arteriosus, ok. And uh, it is the left pulmonary artery, ok. And uh, it is the left pulmonary veins. Pulmonary arteries uh, carries uh, deoxygenated blood, pulmonary veins carries uh, oxygenated blood. Now, this is the part that is the uh, left atrium, it is the here it contains uh, what is that bicuspid or mitral valve through this uh, left atrium the blood is uh, now reaching into the left ventricle. Here left side coronary arteries are forming, these all are the left coronary arteries. So, it is the left coronary artery, it is the what is that external structure uh, of uh, the diagram. If you see here where pulmonary arch and systemic arch dividing or um, the part is the ligamentum arteriosum, ligamentum arteriosum, it is the narrow like structures, uh, it is the uh, where it is dividing, this is the ligamentum arteriosum. And if you uh, come to this uh, internal structure of the heart, see here the diagram, it is the systemic arch, systemic arch and uh, <coughs> This is, these are the left pulmonary veins and it is the left atrium, it is the left atrium part, left atrium. And here uh, bicuspid valves or mitral valves are forming, uh, through the mitral valve the blood is pumping into the ventricles, ok. It is the muscular ridges are forming or called, uh, that is the uh, corda tendane, ok. And, uh, Papillary muscles are forming conical shaped structures. It is the left ventricle. The blood is now reaching into the left ventricle with the help of bicuspid valves. And here, colony carnes are forming. These are the muscular ridges. So, likewise, the ventricles are forming here, internal structure of the heart. And see in this diagram here, these are the precal veins. These are receiving the blood, deoxygenated blood. Here, pulmonary arch is forming. Okay, and uh, pulmo right uh, pulmonary veins are forming, these two are the right pulmonary veins. And uh, right atrium, this is the, it contains SAN node, sino atrial node is forming, it is the, uh, generally we are called as a pacemaker, lub dub love, like uh, sound is producing. And uh, uh, valve of Thebaceus, etc, etc, all, uh, all uh, parts are there in this uh, side of that uh, right atrium here, ok. And here tricuspid valves are forming, tri through the tricuspid valves uh, the blood is pumping into the from right atria through the right ventricle. And it is called as a right ventricle, right ventricle, this is the post vein, ok. So, it is the overall internal structure of the heart, ok. So, this is the uh, uh, atrias and uh, uh, ventricles and uh, nodal tissues and ortic arches, uh, all those uh, we discussed today, uh, this is the uh, structure of uh, human heart. Uh, uh, thanking you uh, for watching my YouTube channel, thank you once again.